Earlier, I spoke to Care Australians, Australia's Brian Agland, who's in Rangoon. He's optimistic the junta will soon allow a larger scale relief operation. Well, ever since the uh, cyclone hit over two weeks ago, we've been trying, uh, I think the biggest issue has been trying to get access. Um, we were very fortunate that we had uh, uh, staff on the ground and a, and a good reputation with the local authorities, but over time that has been um, the need to get approvals, to get uh, documentation to allow care staff into some of the temporary settlements has slowed down our ability to do that. Um, as well as, as, as also bringing in um, much needed aid and, and staff from outside of the country. But the way we've tried to deal with that is, is to, to work very closely with those agencies on the ground, those government uh, sort of local authorities that we do have good reputation with to build that, that trust, which is necessary. Um, and also we've been trying to purchase as much uh, goods and, and material locally uh, because it's easier we've we found it easier to transport small quantities by truck down to the area if it's purchased locally rather than try to bring it in through the airport where there's up till recently been quite a lot of bottlenecks. Well, we're hearing that the Burmese military wants to invite international officials to visit cyclone hit areas. Do you expect that that sort of thing will help ease foreign access? I, th I think there's, there's a possibility that could, there was a flight on Saturday, I believe, uh, uh, with some officials and some, um, I think, a UK government minister, which um, I, I understand from those that were there built a, uh, was very positive in that um, yesterday the, um, the government met with um, donors and as well as the aid community, and there's been some relaxation as far as access. Um, NGOs like CARE are now able to access and deliver our aid mm. um, directly um, as long as we do it in company and in cooperation with government on the ground which is which is very positive compared to where we were one week ago um, and so we're now building up our staff on the ground increasing the numbers in anticipation that that we'll be able to scale up the amount of aid that we can bring into the area. Brian Agland thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. And in news just in, it's reported that Burma has agreed to allow ASEAN to lead the cyclone relief effort.